tonight at Alang Stadium on the 4th of July, the Tampa Bay Rowdies lit up the Fort Lauderdale Strikers by a score of 3-1. to one. Stay tuned for post-game interviews. Yossi's finishing is looking extremely good at this moment in time. Um, he works hard at it. He stays behind after training and, and, and works nearly every day. You see him with a bag of balls, practicing different variations of shooting and different angles to shoot from. So the thing that I always say to the players is, you know, it's about what you do during the week and what you do at training. We, we train and we, and we practice as we would play. And if you do that in training, then when it comes to a game, it should become automatic to you. The way we've won these games in recent times has been by starting well, we're playing quite direct early on, and then when the game opens up, hopefully having the room to start passing and, and thread balls through. We didn't start with any tempo tonight, and, and to credit to Fort Lauderdale, they did. And they looked threatening and they looked dangerous on the counter attack, and we were stretched straight from the, from the first minute. And that's not the way I'd like our team to, to set up. It was a great equaliser created by Fafa and ex excellently finished by Mike. The work ethic is always there. I never have to complain and ask them to work. That's something they always are prepared to do and they always give their all. And as you say, the second goal was fantastically created. I mean, Dizzy, uh, Daniel, Daniel Antonik's come on off the bench and it's his first touch, but he's got the presence of mind to see someone in a better position than he is and to play a, a lovely second time pass, second touch pass into Yoshi. And, you know, that finish was exceptional. Any, any standard of the game at any time. You know, one touch and a volley with a dipping volley from where he was. Um, supreme confidence, that shows a player in supreme confidence and belief that he's going to score every time he shoots. And obviously from then, you know, we, were, you know, we had the impetus of the game and you know, Fort Lauderdale never gave up. They always came forward, they always looked a threat. Um, they played some nice football at times. And we got the third goal cushion and the referee then had two sending offs to kind of the game petered out. Faf played a great ball and it was one of those plays where you're going to have to either take, hit it your first time or get a touch and hit it quick because the goalie's coming at you, you're in the six yard box. So I just uh, tried to get a touch in and keep it as close to my feet as possible and then um, I think I might have hit it with a little bit of my outside of my left foot. I yeah, think it was my left, it happened so quick. But uh, yeah, I just uh, got lucky and it got in the far post. Uh, we showed a lot of character coming back from you know a goal down. Um, it hasn't been the first time we've done it this year, so you know we got a lot of hardworking players, and you know we knew it wasn't going to be easy playing Saturday and then Wednesday. You know you might have a little bit of tired legs and games at 6:30, so um, you know we just showed a lot of heart, and I'm proud of the guys. It was actually JP's touch. Um, JP touched it, and uh, when I saw that I had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, I called him off it, and he did well to leave it, and. Uh, I just pushed it one or two times and went by the, I think it was the, the right back, and I saw Mike making a little move in there. I saw him free, so I pushed it as hard as I can on the ground to, to see if he could make room and put it in. With tonight's 3-1 victory here on the 4th of July, the Rowdies complete their three-game homestand by winning their fourth game in a row.